Today we're making Spanish marinated carrots known here in Spain as zanahorias aliñadas or how they call them in the beautiful city of Cadiz in Andalucía, zanahorias aliñadas. Guys, this is such an incredible tapas dish. Yes, you heard that correctly, a tapas dish. Who knew that you could grab carrots and serve them as a savory appetizer? But let me tell you, this is absolutely delicious. These carrots have such a beautiful flavor to them because this recipe is very easy to make and it's also very refreshing. Perfect snack for one of those hot summer days next to a refreshing drink. Now really quick before we get started, a quick couple recommendations. Since this recipe is so simple, uses minimal ingredients, very important to use the best ingredients you can get. That way it's full of flavor, like getting the freshest carrots and using the best seasonings, especially a good quality Spanish paprika as this is what really Really flavors this dish. As always, I'm going to be using Kiva Sweet Smoke Spanish Paprika. This is one heck of an amazing paprika. You guys always see me using it. Why? Because it's one of the best ones in the market and I highly recommend it. Link below where you guys can get this. All right, folks, let's get started. We're going to begin by grabbing four fresh carrots and peeling them. The length of these carrots are seven inches, which is about 13 centimeters. And I always like to have a paper towel underneath for an easy clean. Once your carrots are peeled, add them into a deep pan and fill it with some cold water. You want it to be about an inch above the carrots. Generously season it with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. While our carrots are cooking, let's get our marinade ready. Let's grab three cloves of garlic and finely mince them. And add the minced garlic into a mortar. Next up, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, a quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, a generous teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and about one eighth of a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And using a mortar, pound down on the mixture until you form a paste and everything comes together. Once everything's well mixed, I'm going to add two tablespoons of white wine vinegar and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And mix it all together until it's well combined. Okay guys, let's move back to our carrots. We have been boiling this for about 25 minutes and these carrots should have the perfect texture to them. They're not gonna be crunchy, but you don't wanna overboil them where they're gonna get mushy and fall apart. You know, you can always grab a toothpick, pierce it, and if you can easily remove it, these are ready to go. Let's go ahead and remove this from the heat. And I'm gonna drain the water through a sieve and into a bowl. Now I'm gonna grab half a cup of the water that we used to boil the carrots and add it into the mortar with the mixture. And once again, gently mix this together, that way everything's well combined. Once the carrots are cool enough to handle, you don't have to let them completely cool. I'm gonna start cutting them. I like to cut off both ends, and then cut it into rounds that are about a quarter inch thick, which is one centimeter. And as you're cutting your carrots, add them into your bowl. Once you have all your carrots cut and in the bowl, let's grab our marinade and pour it all over the carrots. And using a spoon, we're going to gently mix this together, that way everything's perfectly combined. For the last step, we're going to cover this with some saran wrap and add it into the fridge for at least two hours, but it's recommended 12 to 24 hours, that way all these beautiful flavors can marinate together. Okay guys, after marinating our carrots in the fridge for a couple hours, this should be ready to go. I'm gonna transfer this into a serving dish and let you know how it tastes. I cannot wait to try these marinated carrots. Seriously, look how beautiful these look. Let's try it guys. Here we go. So good. All those flavors, all those seasonings, that paprika really shines through the garlic. Wow, it's an amazing combination of flavors. But most importantly is the texture of the carrots. They are perfectly boiled. You know, you don't want them obviously to be raw or crunchy, but you don't want to overboil them where they're mushy and they fall apart. You want them to have texture, but still when you put them in your mouth, they, uh, they melt. 
between 20 to 25 minutes should be the perfect amount to boil. Again, you can always test them with a toothpick. If it easily goes in, they are ready to go. Serve this cold, serve this at room temperature. I don't care, it is so good. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.